everyone. Here we are on the play with a reasonable hand. I mean, we're going to keep, we need to draw a land of some kind, but I mean, we have turn, we have turn two creature into turn three renegade freighter. There's not much more we can do. Uh, we have two shots at a land here, 16 in the deck. Uh, we also have a few shots at a druid of the cowl. So that's a reasonable card. Well, that's, that's, that really puts a hamper on things, doesn't it? That makes our hand significantly worse. I mean, it's kind of odd, right? There are a few cards that make our hand significantly worse. Aether Poisoner does, and Narnium Renegade do. That's about it. Um, I would like him to trade here. All right. Well, this is not going our way thus far, but we might get there. Let's draw land. Still not going our way, but our opponent hasn't done a lot either, right? Just played a Narnia Ringing on turn one, nothing on turn two, nothing on turn three. Now they play a fourth land, though, so I have to imagine something is coming. A Wild Wanderer. Um, hmm. So Narnia Renegade is usually an aggressive card, but Wild Wanderer getting eight planes makes me think they're not an aggressive deck. We're just going to play a Renegade here, and uh, we're hopefully going to be able to start beating some face with it. Is, is my hope, obviously. Greenbelt Raiders is also a fantastic magic card, by the way. Um, Greenbelt Raiders plus Malfist Revolutionary is pretty good. Yeah, so he knows that we have the Greenbelt Raiders, so he's just not planning on blocking, I would assume. Obviously leading with that. Getting my aggro on a little bit. And then uh, leading with another trampler. Now, if he doesn't block here, if he just takes five, I mean, so I could have played this first to get one more energy, but one, I don't think the one more energy is necessarily going to matter here. And two, I didn't want to show him anything that he didn't see before he made blocking slash tricking decisions. Oh, geez. All right, that sucks. All right, you got me. Now, if I drill Redland there, I think I win the game because I get to play Repairing Tiger, and then on the next turn, I get to play Destructive Tampering. So I still have outs to win this game, but this game certainly sucks now. Just going to take Infinite from in. Yeah. Ugh, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. Playing the big green beast, are we? And Cabal on the same deck. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> yeah, all right. No, we're dead. Okay, on to game number two. See you there. All right, what can we do to beat this nonsense? We can obviously, like, draw a reasonable mix of lands and spells, which, by the way, we have not done yet in this entire tournament. Um, we also don't really have anything in our board for it. I think we just run it back. Destructive Tampering is again going to be good in this matchup, right? He is playing for a board stall. It's going to be good. Let's draw some lands. Let's draw some spells. Let's go. That is lands and spells. I mean, it's not the perfect mix of lands and spells. It's not everything that we wanted and more, but it's reasonable, right? It's not like Green Belt Raider, there's no two drop, but a Druid of the Cowl does make this hand insane, right? We get to go Druid of the Cowl, Filgri Familiar, or Filgri Crawler, sorry, I keep calling it Familiar, but it's strictly a worse magic card. Lifecraft Calvary, all right. I mean, I would really like to draw three drop land land, but I know that that's just like magical Christmas land here. So I can't count on that. I would like to draw a land though at some point, right? Even if I just get to draw two lands in the next however many steps, that's going to be good enough for me. All right, so there's one land to do it, and uh, hopefully we get the next one going again. We're very afraid of our opponent uh, drawing a bunch, a bunch of green lands here because that tusk or that uh, basker is just so good. But all right, get to play a crawler here. Nice pacification array. If we need to end up playing that next turn, that is something we can do. Uh, that's also a good way to deal with the basker which he has a lands for right now. Okay, not going to block that, but would love to block 
the uh, the two one. Huh. Sky Weaver Elite. So I'm, I'm surprised he didn't block. He didn't attack with this because then I would have blocked, obviously. Huh. It's a little interesting, but I'm not exactly sure. We do have the Wombo combo, by the way, of Calvary and or Tiger with Mantra's Onslaught. So uh, we have a lot of ways we can deal with all of his best cards right now. Wow, that's definitely going to be hard to deal with. All right, so he has uh, two very good green Mythic Rares. That was a little unbeatable. <laughs> uh, I don't think our I don't even think our best draw beats this, to be honest. Three one one counters there. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that down. Uh, not going to attack here. Land. Drew to the cowl. Oh. It's not exactly land, but it means that we have a land next turn, which is promising. And again, Monster's Onslaught could do some work, right? I mean, if we're able to get a 6-6 of some kind on the battlefield. Jeez. All right, just green rares and mythics galore. I don't know how I beat this deck, by the way. I mean, I guess we'll see in game three, because, you know, game two I'm already going to win, obviously. So I guess we'll see in game three, but this seems this seems mad difficult here. Okay, just playing a Druid of the Cowl doesn't seem so bad. Um, gonna take his five six away from him maybe, so that he can attack with his five five or whatever. I don't care. Yeah, attack away. Please block. Nope, didn't block. All right. No, we're just dead. Damn it. <laughs> All right. See everybody for round number three. Peace.